And now for something completely different. <laughs> um, we're at McLaren and Lamborghini here in Leeds, just near the um, the park and ride. Temple Green Park and Ride, it says. So, we'll go and have a look. They might kick me off, but if they do, they do, and if they don't, they don't. But we'll soon find out. Right, let's have a look at the McLaren place first, because it appears there's more vehicles there. So, uh, let's have a look. I don't think I'm going to convince them. <laughs> To let me borrow one so I can do a review on it, but you never know. <laughs> I think I have more chance of platting fog. But here, yeah, look at these. Well, I, do, I don't don't ask me what model they are. I've got no idea. But I do like this maroon-coloured one here. Look at that. Just look at that. That is stunning. Even through a fence, that's stunning. And my crap videoing. But that is absolutely awesome. Oh, what a piece of equipment. And the yellow one's nice over there as well. I think, oh, and look at the, uh, like a, there's two orangey ones over there. I think if you're having something like this, you want a, a bright, flashy colour, I think. You don't want a, a grey one or gunmetal or whatever they are. You want something that bloody stands out. Not that they don't stand out anyway. But they are absolutely, absolutely stunning. What's well, chance of a test driving one then, so I can make a video? Extremely slim. Extremely slim about as about as slim as no chance. Yes, it's slimmer than that. All right. Yes, sorry. Can I have a look inside? Yes. Thank you very much. So there you go. The young man says I can have a look inside. So welcome to McLaren Leeds. Will it let me in here? Oh yeah. Ah, you love that young man says I could have a walk around. Oh, look at that. My little granddaughter would love that one and that's probably about the only one I could afford. Everybody says that. Yeah. So how much are these then? Am I? Did not have they? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful. What a colour as well. And it's a convertible. See what it says about it. Oh! On the road. Can't quite focus on it. £281,580, over a quarter of a million quid on the road. It's a quarter of a million quid nearly before you had any options on and, uh, you know, anything else that you might like. But look at that. I mean, it looks like it's doing 180 mile an hour while it's stood there, doesn't it? How can you concentrate on your work when there's these here? Do you know what I mean? Do you get to go in one very often? Sometimes. <laughs> I don't think I've got much chance of a test drive, have I? <laughs> Look at that. 
That's a 720S. Oh, that one's a 720S as well. That's convertible. How much is the... Uh... Oh, this one's even more. I don't look. Nearly a third of a million quid. Let's see, what else have we got up here? The blue's nice. This one's a 600 LT. Look at that. I'm tempted to say it's sex on wheels, but... Oh. The white one. That's another 720S, it says. Just think, quarter of a million quid a piece, one, two, three, four. That's a million quid there. And then four cars. Another one here, look. Oh, 765 LT. Is that bigger? I would think so. A 600 LT. I still like the convertible best. Are they all convertible? Does the roof come off on all of them or is it just that one? And this is the carbon fiber cage for display purposes. I bet I can't even afford a McLaren t-shirt. <laughs> How much is a McLaren t-shirt? Does it say? No, nope, not even a price on it. There you go. That's probably about 500 quid. Well, well, well. Your cars are absolutely, I shake my leg, awesome. Yeah, not bad, are they? Not bad? Who can afford a quarter of a million quid for a car? There's people out there, aren't there? Yeah? How many footballers do you get in here? Not many. Not many? Don't they like McLaren's? Just don't, we just don't, as a general rule. We don't, we don't see them, to be fair. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting me in and having a... a I haven't drooled on any of them. Might be a bit of drool on the floor in places like no, that. that's fine. Well, thank you very much. Very really good. appreciate it. I'm going to go and have a look at the... Is it Ferrari across there now? Lamborghini. Lamborghini? You think they'll give me a test drive? It's not about a test drive. They might let you have a look inside. They might let me have a look inside, yeah. but no chance of a test drive. No. Oh, well, never mind. Thanks a lot. Right, let's go and have a look at oh, Lamborghini. I like Lamborghini as well. Thank you very much. Your cars are absolutely stunning. Just like you and your colleague. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't get a test drive though. No. I love the yellow one. You know, next time I get my pocket money, I'm going to come and get one of them. You won't say it. You'll hold me to that. Yeah, yeah I need to get a, a big rise on my pocket money, I'm yeah, afraid. You and me both. Yeah. Do you get a chance to drive these? Every now and again, not as often as I like. Yeah. Yeah, kind of the days where we do test drive, all cool. Yeah. 
Now they're absolutely amazing, they really are. Okay, and I, I was happy with my Audi TT. <laughs> Fabulous car, driven one of those on track as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I've driven the, um, the Audi R8 V10 on track. Yeah. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah. But I've never, never driven one of these. So. Yeah. Right, well, I'm right. off. I fancy nicking a little one actually for my granddaughter. Alright, that's, that's about £500. Pounds, that one. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I've just looked at the t shirt around the corner and I bet that were about 250 quid. Oh, more than that. More than that? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Right, so I've been and had a look at McLaren. Now, I know this is totally different to what I normally do, but. Can I resist it? No, I can't. Right then, let's have a look. See if the door's open for me. No. No, it doesn't look like this. Oh, hey, this chap, this young man, mind opening for me. How are you doing? You alright? I'm absolutely awesome, mate. I just wondered if I could just come and have a look at some of your cars. You can look at them, but you can't film them because unfortunately they are all sold. Are they all sold? Yes, every single one of them. All gone. Oh dear. Oh, I like that convertible. Yeah, so, not a lot of sold figures in it, so they're all waiting to go out. How much is that? That was 240. Oh, well, it's cheaper than McLaren. You're good. Easy. Yeah. Next week's pocket money, I think. Why not, eh? Yeah. Not much chance of a test driving one, then, is there? No, no, because they're all sold. <laughs> and even if they weren't, they wouldn't be, would they? No, nowadays we just don't. We don't. We no, don't I know, I appreciate that. that. So, what model is this one, that's then? It's an Urus. So oh, what, the, sorry? Uh, an Urus. So, that's the, the four wheel drive Urus. All right. SUV. Actually, it's an SUV. Yeah. How fast is that? Very fast. So, not 63.6 seconds. Woo! Top speed, probably about 190. That car, but it's 2.2 tons, so it's, well, it's not as fast as that, is it? That's 202. 202. My, my uh, little Audi TT will do 160. Mm. Good things, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like this, though. Yeah. Very nice. Well, thank you very much. No problem. What's that one at the back where you can only see the roof? Yeah, orange one, so that's an Aventador again, that's solid. Yeah. You need to get some more stock in. I know I do. <laughs> it's not as easy as that though. No, I know. It's not as easy as that. Have you got chain supply problems at the moment? Yeah, uh, we're okay at the moment, but I think it will start to affect us a little bit further down the line. Lamborghini used to carry plenty of stock of things. Right. But once you've dried out of that stock, then that's where issues may come. Just out of curiosity, how many hundred pounds is the jacket? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, probably, they're but, probably sort of 300 to 500 quid of it. Something like that. Yeah. Are they real leather? Well, no. One of them is a fabric jacket and the other one's just uh, a nylon jacket. All something. right. Yeah. And they're still yeah, 300 they're quid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anything with the word Lamborghini on is uh, a decent amount. I'm going to have to get a t-shirt with Lamborghini on it, aren't I? See if I can get any money for it. How long have you worked here? Since it's open, so a couple, we, we opened a couple of years ago. Alright, how often do you get to drive them? Every now and again. Every now and again. Not very often? Not very often, no. Mm. Not very often, but every now and again, yeah. All right. Must be a brilliant job. You've been in car sales a long time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't get a job like this if you've not, do you? Uh, yeah, worked, it, worked my way up. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, lovely. What's your okay. first name? James. Alright, James, thank you very much. I'm just going to have a look at that video. Uh, that uh, what you've got in the no compound there. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, what absolutely wonderful people. Quarter of a million pound cars and they don't spit the dummy out. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the colour on that. It's one of them Marmite colours, isn't it? You either Love it or bloody hate it, and I love it. I think that's great. Oh, they've got another one over there, same colour look. I like the yellow one as well. <laughs> but in saying that, I wouldn't say no to any of them. You know, somebody come along and said, Hiya Pete, uh, here's a free Lamborghini. 
I would definitely uh, say thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> right. That about concludes this uh, unusual video for today. Um, and we'll crack on. Right, and that about concludes this uh, very unusual video for today. Not my usual thing, I know. Uh, but we'll crack on and uh, see what else we can see. Ah, oh, I really love that. Not that I like cars. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know, I know. I know what you're going to say. You run around in the little Yaris, 09 Red Yaris. That's my work car. That's not my fun car. Um, my TT's been off the road for the winter. But the weather is getting nice, so it'll be back on the road in the next three or four weeks, I think. Right then, let's crack on.